it's me, I'm back with a new camera, which is really good quality. Hey. So uh, I got to see Tony live in Tree Arena. Oh my god. So you mean who? Fifth Harmony who? Who? Hold on top. Fifth Harmony. Yeah. I got a pillow. Don't judge me. I'm a proper hand. And it's like, ooh, ooh. Yes. Um, yeah. I mean, that's my favorite quote from um, one of my favorite songs. Um, yeah. So I got to see Fifth Harmony in Tree Arena, which was amazing. Uh, so it was on Tuesday, the 4th of October. It's the start of the European tour. Um, I got my ticket back in June. July, which is um, really early. I've got a standing ticket. I can really afford a um, meet and greet. Meet and greet would have 300 euro and a sound check was 120 euro. I was gonna get a sound check, but um, my mom said, I don't think that's good enough money for that. I was like, okay. So I went for a normal standing ticket. Um, so yeah, I went for a normal standing ticket and Show was starting around nine o'clock with the girls. Support acts were starting around half seven around that time. Doors opened at half six. I didn't get in until seven, and I was supposed to go up to the front to meet my friends. That didn't happen. <laughs> to be fair, it didn't happen. Um, there was a load of girls and fans already there by seven, and they took it. They took their places in the front and I couldn't get up to them, so I really struggled to get up there and I couldn't get up there. They wouldn't let you, fans wouldn't let you, or girls. So I got stuck, so I had to go back in the back and then ring, saying, I can't get up there, help. And I didn't know what to do when my friend was sitting up in the balcony tier, which was kind of difficult because she was not 16, and uh, the rule is you have to be 16 to be on the floor. I'm 20, so it's alright. Um, so luckily my friend rang, uh, Becca, and I hung out with her and another friend from Twitter, Jamie. I met, we all met on Twitter, so that's how we became friends. Um, so yeah, we hung out watching the spotlights. They were actually pretty good, to be fair. Um, and we got to meet them afterwards. Because <laughs> what the hell not? Um, and there's a little funny video of Cameron at the garden. She uh, she was doing the meet and greet, <laughs> and I was I was in the queue waiting, and the, the girl popped the phone, and I was in a little conversation, and I saw her, and I was like, hi, and like my friends saw on Twitter, and they always take the piss out of me with that video. <laughs> I really don't like it no more. Um, <laughs> they're really mean, like. <laughs> but yeah, um, so that happened, and um, the concert started at nine. That's my girl came on, but before that, the intro. Oh my god, impossible! That song gets me every time. But like the theme of the actual concert was flight. <laughs> so it was basically a flight journey. So like, impossible. No, impossible. I won't sing, but um, they, they started an X Factor and they flew and they started and they became Fifth Harmony. Started from free concert and malls to sold out degrees, which is amazing. Um, uh, so yeah, they like they had different parts of it. So like you are now, there's gonna be like turbulence. There's like a bit of jungle. We are now. Arriving at our destination. It's a really emotional. It's pretty dope. To be fair, it was some pretty good sound beats and stuff. And they also had a first ever a live band. So they had um, a keyboard, a guitarist, a drummer. It was pretty dope. Um, which was cool. Um, and you know they, they sang live pretty amazing. Um, they did a different version of "This Is How We Roll." Honest God, I 
that's when my beat was on and he did a whole new beat of it. It's like, yes, yes, slay it. Uh, also, uh, they did, they had this bit, I don't know, I have to check my phone first because it's on my Snapchat. Two minutes. Uh, it's on, oh, it's on my Snapchat and I can't remember. Um, it was this really, oh, here we go. This is it. That beat won't hit the camera. <laughs> that beat though was awesome. Um, you know, it was honestly like, it was one of the best concerts I've seen, and also it was the first time I ever went to, went, went to a concert by myself um, up in Dublin. Like, that was kind of scary. I mean, I went up on the train at my mom, which was sorry, but I went to Dream Arena on my own, so. It was really scary. I was so nervous. Like I was when I was driving to Tree Arena, I was like shitting up for because I was like, I'm meeting these friends. I've been slaving since May, which has been crazy. Um, and I finally got to meet them <laughs> after the concert. Um, you know, the concert was amazing. To be fair, it was I think, as I said, it's like one of the best concerts I've ever seen ever. Um, but, us. Um, uh, it was really good, like Camila, Normani, Warren, Ali, Dinah, oh my god. Dinah waved at our direction. I died. Like, <laughs> also, she was wearing a Monster Rumpy jersey, and I'm in the Monster province, so I was freaking happy. I was just like, yes, Dinah's wearing a Monster Rumpy jersey. <laughs> And you know, just amazing. Like we didn't really get, we were on the left side of the stage, so near the entrance of entrance one. So, um, <clears throat> mainly Normani, Dinah and Camila came over our sides. It was pretty amazing. Um, I didn't really get to see Lauren. She, Lauren came at the end. I didn't really come over her side to be fair. Mm, I didn't mind, but her hair new, her new hairdo. <gasps> Love it. I don't care. It's so nice. Um, and yeah, it was a really good concert. Like the only problem I had at the concert was where I was standing, I couldn't really see. I was near the barrier anyway, so it wasn't too bad. But um, these really tall girls were really rude to these two young kids who were probably eight or nine, they wanted to go up and I actually let them take my place because I'm a nice harmonizer. I'm a nice person in general. And these three girls wouldn't let them. They just turned and ignored them and went back to the concert. Here's another thing. They were looking at me like I was the weird person seeing all the lyrics of Fifth Harmony. It's like, girl, please. I'm a true harmonizer. You're just here because your sister. Who likes them probably. I was guessing. But yeah. And like, I didn't care. I was singing it. I knew the words of every single song. She didn't. She used to sit there. The only song they knew was Boss. Really? Really? Okay. <laughs> so, um, like, and like, I, there was like, mother and the kid, her daughter came up and I just said, they wanted to go up to the front. And I said, here, take my place. Um, if not, just go and ask the security guard. They might. Um, they didn't get the chance, but I saw them again afterwards, so they did get some work, which was good. Um, I mean, they sold out about 9,000. 9,000 for a tree arena for the first ever time in tree arena. That's pretty good. To be fair, when I saw it on Facebook, I said, like, ah, is anyone actually going to come? But they did, and in fairness, fair play for people actually coming. And there was actually a good crowd of fellas at it. No joke. Um, my crush was even at it from my Tinder. <laughs> he, yeah, we met on Tinder. We talk and Snapchat. I haven't talked to him for a while. But I think he has a girlfriend, so that's not a really good idea. Um, but yeah, uh, it was a really enjoyable concert. I didn't buy any merch because I didn't think it was really worth it. Like 60 euro for the hoodie. I mean, I saw someone in college wearing a hoodie. It's like, girl, you're a harmonizer. I was like, ah. um, But I do wish I got that t-shirt now with, um, with all the girls. But, um, 
well, I, I'm saving my money for something else. Let's, we, we, we wait. I'm really excited. Like when I get excited and talk and like I get hyper, I can't talk properly. You're probably getting this for all the video. <laughs> also my battery's dying so I really need to film this really quickly. Um, but yeah, no, it was really good. Um, I would do it again, definitely. Yeah, if they come back, I'm going. And next time I'm going for a sound check, I do not care. Mean and greet or a sound check, I need it. I need it because then I get to meet them. Also, I stayed, I also waited outside the gate for them, but um, that didn't happen because around 11 o'clock, a pizza guy came for them. So I'm be guessing they were going to Glasgow by the ferry, which I think they did. Because also, can I mention, their bus was green. <laughs> And the bus looked pretty dope, to be fair. No, wait, it was silver, wasn't it? I think it was silver. Oh, I thought it was green. Oh, it was green. I mean, they had two buses. The first bus that came in was green, yeah. Then the second one, their actual tour bus, double decker, two. Double decker, yeah. It was silver. Um, but yeah, um, they did tweet saying thank you, Dublin. Camilla said that was one of the best concerts she ever performed. So. <laughs> We're gonna take that. She hasn't said that about any other concert yet, so... <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, yeah, it was all amazing, honestly. And I got to meet my friends for the first time. Um, they're really nice. Um, they're the people I absolutely thought they were going to be. And they all know now I'm tiny in real life. They didn't expect me to be this small. Which is nice, because I'm only out there, like shoulder which is really bad <laughs> and I'm the oldest like second oldest oldest I don't know anyway yeah <laughs> anyway I just want to say thank you guys for watching if you want to subscribe you know where the button's at if you give us a thumbs up I will give you a hug also uh, share this around share it with the Irish harmonizers or any other harmonizers out there I better go. When I was at the concert, I was doing the 5 page on tour Snapchat takeover. So I was the person who's snapping all of the Dublin concert. So if you were following them, you saw me. <laughs> um, and yeah, that was fun doing that takeover for the night. That was pretty fun. I mean, there's about 5,000 people watching it. That was pretty amazing. Uh, and also Dublin was the first night of the European tour, which was a huge honor. So it was pretty cool. Uh, I have to do some baby I can't talk. I have to do stuff for my man. So yay. So I'll see you later. <laughs> I'm so weird.